you guys back again with another soda street fighter figure review another user request this time we're looking at birdie it's gonna be the last review for the day so let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna start off with the player one color he's got the dark denim outfit on as you can see the paint app is uh just kind of like t-hawk so it's got a nice effect it does look like denim pretty nice overall it's a nice looking figure there are some problems though let's start off by just looking at the accessories as you can see, he comes with two open hands, one that's more of an actual open hand, and one that's meant for holding his knife slash comb slash whatever it is. Knife is obviously another accessory. I don't know if this one's glued or not. They break off all the time, so I'm just going to leave it like that. It does fold into itself like a regular pocket knife, but be extremely careful. They break without even trying. If you look at it hard enough, it'll break. And then the chain is connected to his arm, but it's kind of like an accessory something he has in the game so that's there too it does come off for the most part and then you could wrap it around another figure if you wanted to or not but it is there and you can do whatever you want with it and then he has this necklace which is kind of an accessory I guess it's not connected to his body and it can come off if you swap the heads so we'll, it will include that as an accessory also next up we have an alternate head same head as the other one basically but he's got his tongue sticking out so he's got a thumbs up hand and then two closed fists with some nice detail all the hands have the same detail on them but you can see the rings a lot of detail on those good paint app good sculpt on this guy he's really hulky on the top huge arms, big chest, and then got the skinny legs and goofy shoes, just like in the game. It's a great looking figure. Um, looks just like the source material. Details nice on the head. Got the little heart tattoo on the top of his head. Earrings. The hair is textured, the facial hair. Pretty good looking figure. We can look at the rings a little closer now. Actually, let's use these hands. You can see these much better. There you can see the rings on the hands are all sculpted and painted, so that's cool. Might as well show you this up close. Open mouth. There you go. He's got all of the uh, regular soda articulation. Single jointed elbows, as most of the male figures have. But here, here is one of the major problems. He's really top heavy, and his leg joints are kind of small for the body, and they're all pretty loose. You can usually find a nice pose, but you have to be really careful because they are pretty loose. Let's go ahead and measure this guy, and then I'll uh, bring out the other variants. He's a pretty tall figure, too. Good size to him. Comes in at seven and three quarters if you're counting the mohawk so pretty tall figure let's set the player one version aside give him a quick spin around so you can see it's got some nice detail on the jacket the seams are all there the jacket is i should mention this the jacket's all uh, soft it's connected to the chest but all the collar part is soft this is all soft so it's a nice touch he's got the pockets on his jeans seems all the way down good detail on this figure looks really nice the skull belt belt buckle very nice looking figure next one i want to look at let's go ahead and look at the pink one this is the pink version i have him sit, sit, sitting down because this one's got really loose joints other than that it's a really cool figure it's got all the dry brushing for the denim it's pink denim i guess and he's got the white mohawk and white necklace same exact figure, just another repaint, but uh, this is a nice one. It has the detailing on it to make it look like denim, and it works. So there's the pink version. They all have the same accessories. Again, they're just color variants, nothing special about them. All right, next up is this kind of gray version very similar to the player one but this time instead of the blue denim it's dark gray kind of got a brownish hue to it it has the uh, dry brushing detail also so it's a nice looking figure 
I don't care for the gray as much, but it was in the game and uh, they made it. So there you have it. There's the gray version. Next up is another gray version. This one doesn't have any brown hue to it. It's more of a solid gray color. He's got the pink mohawk, pink necklace, and he's got a different color skin. It's got a bit of a hint of green to it. And we're back to the silver silver belt buckle. So there's the other gray version. This one's harder to find. You can't find the one with the pink mohawk as much. So if you see that one, pick it up if you get a chance because it's harder to come by. And last but not least, we have a translucent red version. Now I'm not sure why they made this, but they did. Everything is molded in the translucent red. It still has the chain though. The joint pegs are all molded in the red also, so you don't they don't stand out. And it's a cool looking figure. It's got tighter joints than the other ones. Only real problem is the head's a different red than the rest. It's kind of a more milky red, unfortunately. But other than that, it's pretty cool. I guess this one's really hard to come by. I don't know. I found mine pretty easily when I was looking, but other people have had trouble, I guess. So if you can find that one and you're trying to get the whole set, probably should pick it up. Let's get these guys in there. Anthony's Customs Group Shot, just because I like to show you guys how they look on display, even if it is a display of a bunch of the same character. Let's see if we can get this guy posed in front of everyone else with his goofy joints. Uh, it's not going to work. This pink one's really loose. There we go. And then we can stand this one in the front. There we go. There you can see all the different versions of Birdie. Pretty good figure overall. Like I said, it's got some good size, great sculpt, great paintwork. Just got those leg problems. The loose joints make him really problematic. But if you can look past that, I definitely recommend you pick up this figure. It's a great interpretation of the character. And overall, it's a great figure. Good, Like I said, good sculpt, good paint, good articulation. It's all there. So pick it up if you get a chance. If you're not a Street Fighter fan or a Birdie fan, probably pass because he's kind of a strange character. But otherwise, pick him up. So there you have it. There's Birdie. Uh, only a couple more of the uh, Alpha figures left, so I may get those done tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see if people actually want to watch more soda reviews. If you do, let me know. If you don't, let me know that too. I don't mind not doing soda anymore. I've got plenty of them left. So if you do want me to do them, that's fine too, like I said. So in the meantime, I'm going to think about what I want to review next, you think about what you want me to review, and keep collecting. Take care.